Ray. Yes? The success of Ray's Five has spawned competitors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We just watched something called Straight Talk. Stinks! There's, well, there's nothing straight about there's it. There's absolutely right? nothing straight about it. Yeah, it's Chase Dager. Look at my Girly hair. Man hair. Yeah. Getting <laughs> into a gold lemme dress. I, I, you know, good production values, I have to admit. Very good production values. Yeah. What did you think about that? Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, here on Raise 5, <laughs> we're, all about, <laughs> we're all about substance, right? Yeah, look at that bald spot. Yeah. Jesus Christ. No. Yeah. Yeah. Not any of this petty, you know. Kind exactly. Of exploration of things. Substance we're talking about there. Yeah, I think we even talked about Jesus one day, didn't right. we? Right. Maybe we should talk about something substantial today. What do okay. you think? Sure. Oh, you know what? You were going to tell me one day uh, the story about you coming out. I was? Yeah. You're lying. I never said look, that. Look, I'm raising my eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, no, you were. So go ahead. <laughs> Coming out in what way? As a, uh, w what's the uh, politically correct term? Fag. <laughs> Mo. <laughs> Queer boy. <laughs> Homosexual. Girly man. <laughs> Fancy pants. Swish bag. <laughs> right. So let me get you real close to you. <laughs> Why? That's, I think, okay, so tell me the story <laughs> of when Ray Jivoff said to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, stop the world, I want to get queer. Watch out. <laughs> stop the world, I want to get laid. <laughs> well, Jonathan. Yes, Ray. You're making that up because we never talked about how you... Well, we it. did, actually, but you do have somewhat of a forgetful memory, so uh, I'll forgive that in you, though. <laughs> huh? What's that? <laughs> um, all right, coming out. Well, I was... Uh, a serious moment on Race 5, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I moved to San Francisco, 1976. I was 22. I'd already been to two years of college and dropped out. Went to Europe. Did a semester in Rome. But I was still... Mm, not active. Aha! <laughs> In any way. Uh -huh. Then, I don't know how I got the idea. I think from a Rolling Stone article about San Francisco. Really? I think that's what inspired said, hey, maybe I should go to San Francisco. Did you say 1976? 1976. The bicentennial. I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So another friend from high school and I, a female mm -hmm. and I, uh, realized that we both wanted to move to San Francisco at the same time, so we did. And uh, we found an apartment, coincidentally, on Castro Street. Ah, yes. Castro Street is a kind of uh, notoriously um, gay-friendly street, right? Gay-friendly? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was like a nude beach with a bus line running through it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, we got there in July, and like that weekend was the uh, Castro Street Fair. So oh, they blocked goodness. off the street, and yeah, it was, yeah. People with no clothes on. Dancing it's like in you the had gone to a candy shop, right? Well, see, I wasn't out of class yet, so I didn't know. Okay, all right. It was torture. <laughs> the kids nowadays, they don't know what that might be like. No. Well, that's not true. A whole bunch of them know what it might be like, <laughs> but obviously not Chris Kopatic. He was a young Paul. Right. What? So, yeah, so I did a whole year at San Francisco State in the theater department. Uh huh. And then at the oh, end of the year, doing my I, um, I, became active. I started an affair with uh, a guy in the show that I was doing. Oh, so not one of your professors or anything? <laughs> no. Oh, good. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, that is quite a story, right? Fascinating, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Well, it's interesting because the Harvey Milk, maybe this is when it came out, uh -huh. <clears throat> the subject, because that Harvey Milk movie is coming out, and I was there for all of that. Oh, my goodness. I lived on Castro Street, and Harvey Milk's camera store was a block away from my house, so I used to run past it every day on the way to the um, streetcar to get out to San Francisco State. And it was a horrible time horrible. when that happened. It was a horrible time when that happened. Yeah, yeah it was a tragedy. Yep. Yeah. What do you think Harvey Milk would have done if he would have lived? I wouldn't, I, would have, I wouldn't be surprised if he had become mayor of San Francisco. I was thinking the same thought. Yeah. 
I think he would have been a good mayor. Yeah. He seemed to get people to work together. Yes, he did seem to do that. Yes, just like you, Ray. You're good, because you're watching the clock, and we now have three seconds. We're going to let this one go a little bit more. Well, see, it's a little bad, because, you know, what? I'm like an education director, and we're talking about my <laughs> coming out. I don't know. It might be bad. Well, we didn't say anything, you know. We didn't talk about you. Uh, Blowjobs. Right, or anything, or anything in a bathroom. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like you're that. right. <laughs> good. Never mind. No worries. All right, Ray, well... I've got to get into my high heels, false eyelashes, and a dress. Ray, I thank you for this deeply personal story about you today. Yeah. <laughs> Told with sincerity. And thanks for kissing my head while you are doing it. See, you know, the fellows over at Straight Talk, our friends Chris and Chase, Woo they're good kids. But yeah. you're not going to get the substantive in interviews like you do here at Artsy Schmartsy. Right, because neither, neither of them have come out of the closet yet. Right. <laughs> Operative word, yet. All right, Ray. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah.